Hey, what's up, everybody? Welcome to Newsarama's Countdown to New York Comic Con. I'm Alex, and I'm here, of course, with Dan DiDio. And we're going to be uh, chatting about some of the sort of a roadmap, I guess, for the DCU over the next couple of months. So let's start off. Uh, Countdown to Final Crisis ends. And that kind of leads into DCU number zero? Uh, absolutely. What we've been doing right now is that countdown to Final Crisis ends uh, actually probably right around the same time the convention's taking place, starting up. And then we go into DC Universe Zero, which uh, we're actually giving a little bit of a preview in the convention booklet, too. So everybody cool. gets a little taste of that. This book really is going to give everybody um, a snapshot or a, a mm -hmm. sightings of important things that are going to be happening throughout the, the DC Universe throughout the year. So. Big events leading into some of the Final Crisis books and some of the Final Crisis tie-in books, uh, but more importantly, things that lead into Batman and Wonder Woman and so many of our big series. Cool. So this is, would you say DCU Zero is a good place to start? Absolutely. I mean, that's one of the reasons why we're, we're putting it out. Well, lucky, timing is everything. Uh, <laughs> the great thing about it is that DC Universe Zero comes out uh, on April 30th. Uh, it's such a primer that we feel for the DC Universe that we've decided to put it out as a 50 cent comic and using our top talent. Uh, we've got George Perez in there, we've got Philip Tan, it's written by Jeff Johns, Grant Morrison. It's one of our bigger series, uh, bigger books. Uh, and what's great about this is it comes out on that Wednesday, April 30th, and that weekend's free comic book day. So not only is it a 50 cent book that everybody can get hold of, the traditional fans coming in the comics on the Wednesday, but hopefully new fans coming in on the weekend with free comic book day can grab a 50 cent comic then too. That kind of leads into a month later, uh, May 28th is Final Crisis, Absolutely. right? Absolutely. And so give me... There's a pitch line for Final Crisis, right? <laughs> yes. Final Crisis is, uh, simply put, it's the day that evil won. It's an interesting time for us with Final Crisis. Everybody's always asking me, why is this final? What is this different than the other crisis? Um, is it really final? And the answer to that, yes, it is the, the Final Crisis. Hopefully. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but more importantly, it's, it's our big story. It's the, it, it culminates what I consider the trilogy of crisis series that we've told. Mm -hmm. uh, we examined uh, the personal crisis with identity crisis. What characters had to go through in their own personal lives were at stake and what choices they had to make in being a hero. Then we pushed infinite crisis, which is the idea of so many things happening all at the same time. They're being faced overwhelming odds. How do they overcome overwhelming odds to be the hero? Now we're in a new phase. In this phase, what happens when evil wins and the heroes lose? How are you still a hero? How can you still be a hero? What do you have to overcome? And is the fight worth it to continue on even though you're against odds and you've already lost? In terms of the schedule that it's seven issues, right? Correct. And it's taking a break for about a month. Absolutely. <laughs> uh, uh, the break is, is a natural break in the story. Um, and there's a clear moment where you see where evil wins. Um, and we want to take a one month off uh, to let that really sink in with the readers and, and people wondering what might be coming next. We have a number of tie-ins that really help expand on the story of uh, a Final Crisis. Um, there are several one-shots. Uh, the first one being uh, Superman Beyond, which is the one book that comes out in the, uh, in the skip month, mm -hmm. with the, which is um, a book basically where Superman is uh, out recruiting in the multiverse, might be a nice way to put it. Uh, and it's also a book that because of the, uh, the size and scope of the matter, we're actually gonna be doing in 3D. Uh, so it adds a little more fun to the book. Um, also, we have two other books that are coming out, two one-shots, one called uh, Final Crisis uh, Submit, and then the other one is called Final Crisis Resist. And I think uh, the titles speak for themselves. I don't think I have to explain anything else, <laughs> other, than, other than the fact that we have some of our key talent on it with the Grant Morrison and Jeff Johns writing on some of these one-shots. Um, we also have two other series, which right. uh, are going to be running parallel to, uh, to Final Crisis uh, starting in August. Uh, the first one is... Uh, which everybody knows about right now and seems to be pretty excited about, which is uh, Final Crisis, Legion of Three Worlds. Mm -hmm. uh, that book is being done by Jeff Johns and, uh, and George Perez. And it really is a culmination of the uh, crisis events in the future um, with the main villain, or our prime vill vill villain being Superboy Prime. Uh, so that's kind of <laughs> exciting for us. Uh, you know, he took his evil from our Superman time. Superman Prime, right? Superman Prime. Well, um. actually, um, he's looking a little bit younger then. Okay. You, you, there was a bit of a transformation that took place, and it'll be explained in the story. And more importantly, it... Uh, it picks up from the events that took place in Countdown to Final Crisis, and it plays into the, uh, the Legion of Three World storyline, where uh, it's going to take more than one Legion to be able to do, defeat a men menace this big. And how many issues is it running? Uh, that's five issues. Five issues. And there's another miniseries yeah. that's coming out, which is uh, Final, Cri Final Crisis Revelation. Absolutely. The other one is called Final Crisis Revelation, and this actually takes place in the streets of the Earth um, while Final Crisis is going on. 
the key player in this naturally is the Spectre, um, the Crispus Allen Spectre. Mm -hmm. uh, the Spectre has played a key role in crises to date, um, <laughs> in the Crisis on Infinite Earths and in Infinite Crisis, um, and he is an important player throughout. Uh, but what happens to him during the course of the events of Crisis is what this series is about. Hmm. And you'll see a number of very, very familiar faces um, in that series too. And uh, um, really happy by this book, um, primarily because it's, it's some of Greg Rucka's best written work that he's done for DC. And um, Philip Tan stepping on board to do this book, his first work here at DC, I, I believe in quite a while, if ever. Um, is a revelation in its own right. It's, some of the, it's absolutely stunning, and uh, it really just brings the size and scope of what we're trying to accomplish with all the Crisis series um, to fruition. Cool. So that's sort of a roadmap of what's going on over the next couple of months, and uh, stay tuned to Newsarama for plenty more as we do our countdown to New York Comic Con.